Hey guys, uh, it's me, Hollow Saber. Been a while. Um, guess this is gonna be more of a get a life video, but not really. Uh, it doesn't have too much to do with uh, more common. I guess it could be pretty common. I don't know. But uh, just something's been on my mind for a long while. Um, I was actually contemplating whether or not to talk about it for a long while too. But I just want to get this off my chest, so y'all gonna have to suck it up and listen through with whatever I have to say, I guess. Well, without any further ado, um, today's topic, or I guess the thing that's been on my heart for quite a bit of while, is uh, <laughs> the idea of love, I guess? I don't know. Um, <laughs> I feel like a complete little bitch talking about this on YouTube, but hey, why not? For the fans, right? But, um, <laughs> I don't know. It's actually a very awkward topic to talk about itself, because, um, I don't really have too much experience in the department of love, and I'm no authority on love either. And there's no way I can pretend to be, because I can't really read a book, because no one else actually knows what love, technically speaking, is. Although, if you were to go from a chemistry standpoint, love is a chemical in the brain. But, you know, that's not, that's not fun, so, uh... <laughs> I guess I'll talk about my experiences with love from past, and, uh, just kind of carry on from there, so... I guess, um... My first girlfriend, or actually, now that I consider it, one of my only like actual serious relationships, um, was was a failure from the start. I guess. I mean, it wasn't that we were like the relationship was bad or anything, but I just kind of knew from the beginning that uh, just this wasn't a relationship that was going to endure. Like I, like there was no, I had no confidence in it, but for some reason I still went in, and I guess. You could go into that a bit more and just kind of ask myself why why did i go into something i know that was going to fail i mean like why i don't want to say it's a waste of time because I, I love the time i spent with her but <laughs> in a in the literal sense in the most practical sense it was it was just a big waste of time for me i invested a lot of time in her a lot of emotion and uh can't really blame myself for uh, being upset because I couldn't really get upset either because I knew it wasn't going to be a success from the beginning. So, yeah, I, I don't know. I guess that would be the starting point. So that was my first love, I guess. Uh, since then, I've had a few crushes, but they were never really going to work out. So those never really happened. But as of now, pretty recently, actually, I just started talking with this girl, of course. That's where it always starts. But <laughs> as I got to talk with her, I just... I don't know, there's something about her that just... <sighs> oh my god, I hate when this happens. I was gonna say something and now there's so many thoughts in my head, I can't pick one. But, uh, <laughs> I guess I'll pick one at random. She's just so... She's so real, but the thing is, she's so... Uh, I don't want to sound like I'm judging her in any way, but she's... There's so much hurt, so much pain in her that I just want to... I want to show her love, I guess. I don't know. Show her my love. Not in the physical sense of make love or anything, but like, just... Like, there's power in knowing that someone loves you. And I want her to know that I love her. But at the same time, is that my, like, selfishness? Am I imposing my love onto her and expecting a reply? Or expecting something to work out because I'm feeling the same need? Or am I doing this as a friend? Or, like, I don't know. Like, I personally can't understand her feelings, too, because it's confusing as hell. Girls, you need to fix that. Honestly, same thing with guys. Don't be a bitch. I guess, you know what? I can't say that myself because I'm doing the same thing right now. I'm talking to you guys on YouTube instead of talking with her. But there's a large part of me that's scared of what she might say if I start asking a few of these questions. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I'm at a loss for words at this point, really, because... I'm at a point where I I think I really love her, but she's hung up on her old boyfriend, on her ex-boyfriend, and I, I'm in no position to judge her, and nor am I in a position to help her either. And I guess that's what's really frustrating for me, is that you know there's something that needs to be done, but there's nothing you can do. It's like having a missing puzzle piece someone asking you to fix the puzzle and but you don't have the last piece and so you're kind of stuck there sitting like okay now what 
I guess that's a bad uh, parable or I don't know example because no one's really asking me I'm imposing this upon myself it could be because I want to like I guess going along with the same thing it may be because I want to finish the puzzle or maybe because I want to feel whole and seeing someone else feel whole I don't know this is deep ass thoughts I'm putting out here and I'm not even drunk so I don't know what that means but <laughs> Oh man, not even AOT related in the slightest, and it's more of me just bitching, and you guys, if you've listened to this point, I am actually truly curious as to why you've listened this far, because uh, I know for a fact I would not really enjoy listening to a guy talk about his love life on YouTube to like his 20 subscribers, but <laughs> that being said, well that's what's been on my mind recently, and uh, it's been affecting like nearly everything I do, I guess, because like my appetite's been shit. Like I haven't been like I I'm in a state where I'm not happy, but I'm not sad either. Like I'm just kind of there, and at the same time, it's affecting like my appetite to eat. And if y'all don't know, I eat a lot. And recently, I haven't been eating too much. And whenever I cook and make something that I'd usually just like pick out and binge on, I'm only like half fully enjoy half enjoying it so I don't know there are times where I like I kind of wonder is this what depression feels like to not be happy well actually that's that's kind of an interesting thought do you guys think it would be ha possible to not be happy but not be sad and if so what is that feeling called I can't think of it off the top of my head I'm I think there may be a word for it but I don't know so leave that in the comments below if you guys uh, figure that word out, <laughs> or encouraging words, I guess, because someone's all obviously going to leave those. But yeah, this isn't really to um, this isn't really for you guys. I'm sorry. This one's more for myself, being a bit selfish here using my YouTube channel. But I'm not fishing for uh, advice or anything. Just wanted to let someone know, or I guess talk about it in an open forum. I don't know. I, I don't know. That's the hard part for being a guy talking about this, because like, you don't wanna, you don't want people to be like, oh, you're not being a man by talking about feelings in public, and so like, there's always that stigma too. So I don't know. This is pretty ballsy, ballsy of me to actually upload this. I'm actually contemplating as I say this if I want to upload it or not. But yeah, I don't know. This would be the uh, first video or uh, talking video that I've done where it's not like pre-recorded uh and in that sense i don't mean pre-recorded as in like uh, like i had it and then i stored it for a while but in the sense of usually when i prepare topics i'll talk about topics subtopics and i'll write them down but this one's just kind of all off the top of the head so i don't know i've said that way too many times but let's be honest that's the truth right i just really don't know Holy hell, if you guys have listened to me yammer on for this long, you guys must be uh, really bored yourselves. So, uh, <laughs> in any case, I um, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, I don't think this will be a common thing or a regular thing on the channel, but I'll try to be pumping out a few more videos before school starts up again, because uh, when I get back to classes and the semester starts up, I have no guarantee that videos will be either on par or even worth watching at this point I guess I don't know also uh, sorry about the recent quality drop I had to um, restart not restart factory reset my computer and so all the settings that I had uh, tinkered with on all the uh, recording and video editing footage and stuff uh, video editing programs I mean uh, are all reset and kind of have to tinker around with that uh, before it goes back up to full quality that it used to be but until then uh, kind of just make do with this, I guess. So, uh, I guess I'll see you guys around. Thanks for listening to all this bullshit up until this point. Apparently, I've been, uh, talking my ass off for ten minutes, which is a surprise for me. Thought this video would take maybe two, three minutes at most. But, uh, yeah, again, thanks for, uh, subscribing, thanks for watching. Um, please, uh, don't feel a need to share this video, unlike the other ones. This isn't really the gameplay, it's just... Just uh, something I wanted to do. And if you don't like it, then fuck off. This is my channel. Anyways, uh, see you guys around.